this situation is just ridiculous and I'm so grateful. To say thank you, we've done a Q&A. How original. I got you this. Oh, thank you. What's that? Went to the Asian supermarket today, as you can see Ooh. by Molly's drink. I'm having some guava juice, or guava yeah. drink juice. We had um, some guava juice in Cuba and it was pretty nice. And this is pretty nice as well. All right. Okay, time. So, I haven't done that many Oh, times. they're in German. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ultimate test. Oh no, there's an English one. Oh, try the German the first. So, oh, okay. I, I can speak <laughs> I can a little bit of German. This. Why did I think that they would be in English? Tom could speak even less. No, no. <laughs> but these are going to be really hard because they'll be like, like whimsical. And... Oh, yeah. <laughs> S hat noch keine etwas, so it has still, still something, still nothing. <laughs> etwas, keine etwas. Oh, no something. S hat noch keine etwas, so it has still nothing. <laughs> Durch, that's through. Ständiges reden gelernt. You never learn anything just by speaking. Yeah, I think it's you don't learn anything just through conversation. Yeah. No one has ever learned anything from words. Well, that's nonsense. Pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that's you not learn true. Everything from words. <laughs> what have you learned? Well, it's like we <laughs> resort to like <laughs> book agree. smarts, don't we? But this is yes. obviously people who are like, I grew up on the street. Oh, my I went to the University of Life. <laughs> Mine says. <laughs> I can translate Molly's one. <laughs> yeah. Frauen power macht Männer sauer. So, women power, female power makes men. <laughs> It's the best word angry. for sour. <laughs> angry, yeah. Sour. Annoyed. How are they going to say it? Women power causes... Oh, causes <laughs> angry men. <laughs> Women power causes angry men. So, you know, that's your future. Um, there we go. I don't Women care power if it causes, causes angry, angry men. men. <laughs> I don't care. Right, we haven't looked at these questions, so my whole thing is I'm a bit nervous that nobody would have done it or not many people would have done it. Yeah. Oh, we've got some questions. Okay. All right, we'll start on YouTube. So, okay. Timo... Is that Timo Werner? Timo says... Planning any USA trips? Well, well, we have just done a... Well, I say just done. It's been a year since we came back from our US trip. Oh, man. I'm and old. from Cuba, etc. Um, so, no. <laughs> like, there's so much left to see. I mean, obviously, just like national parks. I would like to go to the south a bit more as well. And the south, as everybody this keeps world, asking us to do. It's just massive, isn't it? And it's not as 100%. if we think, oh, America, we've done that tick. Did no, it? That's yeah. Not, <laughs> that's not, not the case. Not the, uh, good question. Lewis Wright. What what would be your advice to someone considering moving to Germany? <laughs> Get used to oh. signing your name, filling in paperwork, <laughs> things you wish you had done or looked into in the next few years. It could be possible for me to move there, so I'm hoping to be as prepared as I can. That's cool. Well, yeah, I hope you can not, pull it off. We've not um, been here that long yet. No, and like we we've just been here in lockdown, haven't we? Keep talking over each other. <laughs> we well, have been here six months, um, and obviously the whole time pretty much has been lockdown, so life has not been normal. But we have moved here. Um, it's just a lot of paperwork, even coming from within the EU as it was, as Britain was last year. There's nothing that can really go that wrong. There's Definitely. nothing extremely surprising, especially if you're like from a Western culture, like we are anyway. I don't think there's yeah. anything, there's nothing that I was like, oh no, I wish I hadn't moved here. And learn some German. It's useful, especially if you're not in a big city. And it's just, it's really helpful for getting around and shopping and all the forms will all be in German. If you could live in, this is Jessie Rachel, if you could live in any country permanently, what would it be and why? Thanks. Australia. Other th Next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're living in Germany. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd agree, Australia. Yeah, I mean, I mean the, maybe America. Like, yeah, I was thinking about America. People obviously think obviously. I'm going to say that because I'm so like in love with American culture, but it's like... I don't know. I, I think th it's like... America has Australia's the, a bit more interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I think like, it's interesting. Australia's like, there. if I was a millionaire and I just wanted like the best quality of life, yeah, that would be it. But if I still had like some adventure left of me, probably America. But it's like America has a disadvantage of like we know so much about it. So in the UK, you see so much American news and American culture, and you speak to so many Americans. Does it seem like less of an adventure. You, in no, I'm just saying we are familiar enough with the USA to know about its disadvantages. Oh, okay. So there's things I'd be like, oh, I don't really want to live in America because of that. But that might be the case in like Australia or, or anywhere else Australia, I mentioned. Australia has no corona though, so... <laughs> that that is, nice. I, I, I was on the if Australia now... bandwagon before corona, but yeah. <laughs> or New Zealand, so that would be really So what would you really say? Cool. Yeah, I mean, we've been to Australia. Um, we went, we've been to a few places in Australia and yeah, I would, that would be really cool. Oh, okay. Next. Somebody's got... <laughs> okay, you've got six questions, so I'm oh, sorry if we right. rattle through them. I'm sorry if I say anybody's name wrong. We okay. will say I don't, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend. 
Um, so what is something that as a traveller you think the travel industry as a whole could improve upon? See, I'm a, a dumb Western millennial, so I think the best places are places where you can do everything on Google Maps, like you can see like public transport directions and opening times. Everyone should speak English, is what uh, you're no, saying. No, I'm just saying, you know, if there was something a foreign country wanted to increase tourism from English people, I'd say, like, online information in English is yeah, probably the main I, I thing think, that's missing. I think that will happen. What is a location you most want the chance to visit but you have not yet been able to and why? Well, I, mm -hmm. I actually said in my last video, um, like, I have a lot of ideas for, like, backpacking routes that I want to share in videos. One that I like especially want to do, and I didn't mention it, and I didn't realise I was leaving it as like a mystery. What that one that I super Did want you not to do is it? no, I didn't say it. Oh. So now I sort of feel like I'm not going to say it until until we go there. In case it doesn't. Matter. It's not like it's a secret. Like I've discovered <laughs> well, a new uh, part of Europe or anything. I was going to say we were meant to go to the Galapagos Islands. I think you've explained that. Yeah, well, not really. Okay, well, basically we were meant to go last year, but obviously something got in the way. And yeah, and the flights to the islands. Um, and so we've got, we were really hyped up yeah. about it and we read this book, this really cool book about the wildlife and just history generally about the Galapagos Islands. So we were really hyped up to do it and then we had to go home. What is in your opinion the funniest thing to have happened to you while travelling? Oh, oh my god. I know what this is. Oh, oh, let me guess what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <of> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, uh, okay. I showed it in a video, it's sort of recency bias, but in Bogota, yeah, the last place that we went to. I'd, I'd been to the toilet earlier and the tap on the sink was a bit loose and, you know, I just thought that's a loose tap, but it did work. Um, and then clearly it, was, it wasn't it was fine, because <laughs> Jaina then went to the toilet and came back holding the tap and then had to sort of get the attention of the person on duty, I guess, behind the bar, was the guy behind the bar, and saying, oh, excuse me, the tap's, bro the tap's broken and... He was like, oh, well, is, is, is it okay? And she was like, no, there's, there's water everywhere. <laughs> no, and he saw it and he was like, okay. oh, oh, it is bad. <laughs> yeah, the hallway was literally was, flowing out. It was, yeah, it was like coming <laughs> under the doorway. We'd been hanging out with the, this Canadian guy and he knew like exactly what to do. He'd obviously been like a plumber before. He jumped up, <laughs> he like went under the sink, he was holding it in all the right places. He was like, give me a bucket. I was just looking and for a bucket. Louis went to get a bucket and there's a clip of, of him fixing it where I'm obviously just stood over him like filming <laughs> when everybody's trying to help. I've just stood over him filming. I just go, Jaina did it deliberately. <laughs> <laughs> she did not do it deliberately. As if that helps anybody. Why would she? <laughs> when everybody's trying to help. Um, what was your favorite season of the year in general or does it change? Not summer. Definitely autumn for me. Um, I love I'd say, September and October. I'd say autumn or winter, even though like obviously the cold sucks. Because I like Christmas, everything's nice, my birthday's in December, it's just fun time. And like I think the end of the year is a nicer time than the beginning of the year. Um, and the summer is too hot. How do you start planning a trip? Asks Uda Toz Road. Uh, yeah, I, I will make a whole video about this. Just answer that question. question, I can't go into it. I'm Get a super mega nerd and I will show you my spreadsheets and so on. Yeah, I mean... I don't know if it counts as part of the planning, but get inspiration first. If you want to go yeah. somewhere, sort out where you want to go. That's fine. And then watch Tom's videos. <laughs> uh, uh, a flower asks, is England generally safe? Well, I mean, it's hard to answer this question in light of the recent news, to be honest, but so I for, wouldn't... For people of colour and for women, basically. I mean, obviously I'm a woman, but I've not really lived in that... I haven't really lived in a big city before. Um, I'm sure it's safer than a lot of places, and it's probably one of the safest, surely, I would think. Um, would, I, I can't... Would you advise somebody who's thinking of not moving there out of safety concerns? What oh, would you say to them? Not on... No. That, no. That's... I don't... <laughs> <laughs> you mean so yes, again. move? Do you mean yes, yeah. move? Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't... I think that would be being too scared, in my opinion. But obviously I can't I can't speak about the racism thing. Aristotle on oh no, Aristotle. <laughs> Aristotle. Aristotle will be what asking is different. Life? Yeah. Uh, how did you two meet? Um, we met um, when we were eighteen. The same I'm sorry that we can't yeah. give you a cool movie we story. Just met at it's our just house. Way... Well we went to the same sick form, so we knew each other through that. We then, had yeah. the same friends, you hang out with the same people, you hang out at the same places, you go to the same parties. How do you meet I'm, anyone I'm, when you're I'm 18? making that sound way cooler than it is. It's like parties as it in like the lowest number party. that you can have to be able to use the word plural word party. It was there. a party. Uh, oh, set in Nixon, which football club do you support? <laughs> do you have to ask me this after Thursday? Can we not have can we not have <laughs> Spurs. Oh, any interest Spurs. in Central Asia? Let me know if you want some Kyrgyzstan tips. Ooh, yeah. Da, that's what's here. Uh, store, <laughs> how do you say percent? Do they speak Russian there? It's one of the official languages. 
Oh, how do you say percent? Yes, no, yeah, for me. Yeah, I would love to. Uh, send me a message. Yeah, thank you. Are you both plant based? What has what place has pleasantly surprised you food wise Ooh. from Miss Lauren? I've only been fully plant based since living in Germany. Um, yeah, I have for so not traveling, two, but I was two and a bit years. But I was veggie when traveling. Yeah, we were both vegetarian yes. for ages before. Um, Indonesia was easier Indonesia, than I thought yeah. <laughs> it would be. Indonesia, really easy to get good curry. I mean, I have tempeh there oh, that they're using. Tempeh is so good. Places. Tempeh is it te tempeh. tempeh's fermented soybeans, right? Yeah. It's really good. It sounds horrible, but it's really yeah. good. <laughs> um, We've got, we have that here. Probably, I would say Germany has surprised me food-wise. It's like, in terms it's of fine. vegan food, I would say it's like the second, second in all the places that I've been to. Second only behind the UK, so that's I think it's that's better than the surprise. UK in many ways. It's just not a problem, Blimey. basically. What's the deal with airplane food? I don't <laughs> know. Also, men, I can't tell you what the deal with airplane. I've food not is. had much airplane food. When I went on a school trip to Italy in year eight, so like thirteen years of old, years of old, <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I was about thirteen, um, I had this artichoke sandwich. They served that on the plane, and I don't, I don't think I even knew what artichoke was, but it was <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <I probably> don't. <laughs> Shouldn't have eaten it. I don't know what the deal with airplane food is. I can't terrible. answer. We, um, don't, we just don't, we don't really go for it. Uh, Tino yeah. Weichelbaum, what are your plans for your stay in Germany? Um, uh, we live here. Get out of lockdown, <laughs> do stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, explore. Yeah, explore I'd Germany love to and mainland Europe. See this area. Yeah. Um, otherwise, yeah, normal life, living yeah, like we would in the UK. Are you planning any more trips for the near future? No. Not the near future. We're, yeah, Europe is not really doing so good. Hopefully go home at some point, but that's not. Hopefully go. That's not yeah, that's sort of. Well, the, I guess it's a trip. <laughs> that, that, that'd probably be our next trip to go yeah, and see family go to in the UK. UK again. Frankie, Frankie Rabaker, I'm assuming at least most of your videos aren't monetized as you use clips of songs and never get an ad. Are you never get an ad when watching on oh. mobile? Do you have ad block installed, Frankie? So yeah, I actually did recently get monetization on YouTube. Thanks Woo! to all you nice people. Yeah, so that. That USA one is the only one that I can't put adverts on. Obviously, uh, that I've used copyrighted music there, so the deal. A lot of people don't really get this. They think I'm about to be banned from YouTube, and I might be. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do I know? But I think it is quite complicated. Um, I don't know how it works. You you can use copyrighted music. It's just that you can't put ads on it yourself, and you get the money for mm -hmm. it. Um, so there's like quite a few ads on that. Yeah, I didn't um, decide how many ads get on there. Yeah, like so in right. this video where I've decided how many ads, you might have got one at the beginning and then none all the way through. Yeah, that's like how I would want it. Yeah. <laughs> but the, all, all the money from that doesn't go to me. That's going to the Sinatra estate or probably some guy in a suit at a record label. You can use commercial music, but then they just put ads on it. You don't get the money. They give the money to the record label. So it's all automatic. In terms of <laughs> why did I do that when I put so much effort in? When I was making that video, like, there was no concept of 20,000 subscribers, there was no concept of us doing a Q&A, no. well, there was nothing like that, like, it, yeah, before it was, this that was just so distant. Up. Before this blew up in, like, January, um, Tom would say things like, I got another subscriber today! Yeah, I literally remember the like, number. I, I have screenshots, I was, like, texting everybody screenshots. Like, one it's every like, few days. Oh, five today! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I've been to America, I love American music. This video is going to be seen by 10 of my close friends and mm. maybe like 10 pe random people in America will find it on YouTube and that's that basically. So yeah, I was like, it doesn't matter that I can't make money off it. I'll just put whatever music I want to in it. Like as if I'm going to make a USA video and not use the only living boy in New York. <laughs> I sound like, oh, fuck, like, come on, come on. So yeah, I sacrificed all the money on there, but people love it. So I'm, I'm happy. You're welcome, record labels. You're welcome. <laughs> was it a difficult process moving to Germany from the UK in regards to paperwork? Paperwork. No. Paperwork's a pain. Paperwork is a pain, but it wasn't difficult. Like, it's stupid no. that you have to do paperwork. I expected there to be forms, like typing in loads of stuff. I didn't expect to, like, have to go somewhere, pay to print the form, um, sign your name, put it in an envelope, go to the post office and pay to send it. I didn't have yes. to, I didn't expect to have to do that so many it, times. So that, yeah, it's annoying. Uh, so it's not difficult. Well, you have to get Only, the train like, to go to the copy, yeah. the copy shop. Only because we moved before Brexit and we're English. If you're if you're another nationality, I, I have no idea. I think it's a lot worse if you're outside of the EU. Um, do you have any interest in making a train video of Europe like you did of the US? Yeah, I'd love to do it. We will do that at some point. I mean, like, you see rumours all the time that bringing back sleeper trains to Europe, and there's still so many lines that are already in operation. Like, and we'll we're, do it. we're on a train line right here, so... Yeah. Essa Armstrong, favourite thing you ate on your trip to the US? Are people going to hate me if I say Chipotle? <laughs> <laughs> We have, well, we might have some Chipotle's in, Chipotle's in the UK, but we've not never had we one. Not where we live, we're small tech people. Um, There's nothing where we are. Like, um, Chipotle was good. Oh my, people are going to hate me anyway, because I don't eat meat, so whatever I say, people won't like <laughs> it. Um, 
Chipotle was good. I didn't have any the first time when you just no. had some. Maureen was like, I'm not going to like gonna it. I'm not going to like yeah, it. And then I, I gave her a bite of mine. The next time beans. it was like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> but it was really good. You can, you know, I mean, it's like, I think it's like Subway, but for Mexican food. Yeah. And um, I'm, not a ba- I, I'm not a huge fan of Mexican food. We don't really have it that much in the UK. No. But it was really good. And you can just not have the beans, so it's fine. <laughs> Chinese in Brooklyn. Oof. On the first night. That's the first thing we ate. <laughs> yeah. That was so good. That was incredible. I just That's Googled. Really good like vegan Chinese in Brooklyn and I, it was the number one place and I went on Google Maps and it was around the corner I was like that's good we'll go there yeah. we'll have it and then we'll go to sleep for like 12 hours it didn't, um, didn't happen because I think we woke up about 5 hours later <laughs> and we went to a vegan diner in Salt Lake City that was really good oh yeah in Nana in Nana what is the best fare system for trains and public transport that you've experienced I would say oh, Tokyo best. is not the way to go because <laughs> you don't know like what line is what, what line costs what, oh. what line you're allowed to get on with your card. <laughs> it's mental. Um, Maybe if you can speak Japanese, it's oh, okay. Sydney is actually the one. Like you have like an Oyster card, like you top it up and then you tap everywhere. Mm. But on um, on Sundays, it's like capped. You can't spend more than two dollars whatever you do. So that's how. I don't remember that. Yeah, that's how we went to the Blue Mountains. It's like a two-hour oh, yeah, train yeah. ride out to uh from central sydney to katumba um and we did it on a sunday so the fare was capped at two dollars and you can pay you can pay like a hundred dollars for a tour to go to like three sisters or whatever mm. and we did it for two two dollars and it was like super clean super functional and on time i devon settle it what is the prettiest u.s state i'm afraid you've come to the wrong people from well, we our experience it, yeah from our experience Obviously, Colorado. I mean, come on. <laughs> um, but we no, really until we've been to loads of the national parks there. Yeah, but they. Um, um, this person said Utah and Salt Lake City was really cool. Jai <laughs> 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 Napari. Sorry if I said that wrong. Can you say Desgostang in your best Scottish accent? I need just to hear how she says it. But... We've just alienated like all American people. Desgostang! This is probably only funny to English people. Desgostang! <laughs> Favourite meal you've had on your trips? Indonesia. On um, We went on Gili A, Gili A, and the. It's, it, a, it's a little island the off the coast of Bali. Restaurants there may not look like much, but so good. We used to go. Like every day, we, we went there and our friends Josh and Rob were Dad on the choice. island already and they were like, come in, dinner. you know, it's one quid and we'll tell you what to order. One British pound And equivalent. it was so good. They did tempeh curry with like the most delicious, like not too spicy sauce and loads of vegetables and they did tempeh so burgers good. as well. It was, it was really good. We went there all the time. That's probably what we talk about the most. It's like one of the best yeah. meals, but also like it was a quid. And we'd never had tempeh before, so it was a new, exciting thing. Um, and it's that, and then the sushi. We had some sushi in Kuala Lumpur oh. when we were there for a few days on the way back to the UK. And that was really good, because yeah. we just love sushi. Sushi in Kuala Lumpur. Vegan, veggie or vegan sushi. Obviously. Yeah, again, that was like incredibly cheap it, for like UK money. Oh, favourite views when crossing America, again, uh, Colorado. Tips for finding good deals for travelling, yeah. Uh, MQ96, um, I will make a whole video for this question, I don't want to bore people here, um, but basically research, patience, go in the wrong season. Eon Sofian says, if you were to do a USA trip again, what would that entail and what would you do differently than your cross country trip from before? It went really well, so it, yeah, we were so I don't lucky. regret stuff about the part of no. Greyhound. If you're saying like go back in time and what would you change? Not that not, many things. Don't do Greyhound. <laughs> don't do Greyhound, get the train mm. instead. But that's about it, it's not like Yeah. Like we were so lucky we had a lot smooth. of good experiences and city after city, it was just great. But if I was going back now to do a second trip, mm-hmm. Like, part of me just wants to ride the California Zephyr again. <laughs> it's really good. Like, maybe right. it'd be good to do it, like, once in winter, once in summer. I mean, like we said before, just maybe in the south or maybe north. Maybe in the, the north. south, like, go to New Orleans. Um, yeah, the, the south, like that, and also, like, go, yeah, to, like, Montana. I'd like I've to always wanted Seattle. to go to Montana since uh, Funfalui went there. Alaska, probably. Um, south Dakota, see Mount Rushmore. Um, mm. Oh, and the northeast oh, and to go to the northeast in autumn. We've just been watching a lot of Gilmore Girls in um, in lockdown in Germany. <laughs> so to see like New England and all the like like some of those places cool. just I swear look like England because yeah. of that time. Obviously yeah, they're wearing. I want to see the Grand Canyon um, as well. That'd be really cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Oh, and the redwoods. Oh, that'd be so cool. Where did you get inspiration for the video style of your USA trip? I love the way the music fits in transitioning the scenes. Also, I hope the copyright music hasn't hasn't affected it too much. I was I just thought to myself. I'll put commercial music in it because like it will make my experience more fun 
Like, I'm not gonna play New York, New York, and New York. Like, come on. <laughs> I didn't expect it to take off and be like talking to you people. Like, in with two minutes in, there's an obscure reference to an English film review podcast. <laughs> like, would I have put that in to try and attract American viewers? No. Um, yeah, I had no idea it would take off, but in inspiration, uh, obviously the same as everybody, Casey inspired me to start and then probably Craig Adams inspired that style a bit a lot like I basically would love to just rip off Craig Adams channel and do everything he does um, and currently Hannah I like as well Would you consider doing vlogs of normal life? They are even more interesting than travel vlogs in my opinion It'd be interesting to see how you and Molly do everyday life <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would consider it. It'd be it. boring. Yeah, I'd consider I've it. I've resisted but... it because I think it would be boring. But then somebody said yeah. to me in my last video where they were just like, whatever you two do, like you, if you do something in Germany, that's like a travel vlog for some people. So mm. yeah, let's do that. There's okay, a, if you want it, yeah. you're the boss. Yeah, there's <laughs> nice walks around here. Well, you've seen one of them in the snow, then <laughs> yeah. we could do some more. Will you come to South Italy, Pompeii Ruins, as soon as is possible? I'll offer my B&B. Oh, thank you. Thank you, yeah, we love to, yeah. I've actually been to Pompeii already, and it was great, and I'd love to go again as an adult. Do you fancy it? Yeah, oh, yeah. We have been to uh, Like, when we went to Rome and Florence. Florence is just we love gorgeous. Florence. Yeah. Rome, again, it's a big city, and I don't think we're really city people <laughs> <laughs> that much, you know. So it's really busy and insane. Um, still good, though. Obviously, all, all the history is great. But Florence was amazing as well. So yes, we'd love to. Thank you. Um, how did you end up in Germany? How do you like it here? Oh, here! Hey! Um, so I'm doing a PhD here in Germany at the university. Yeah, I've, I've been wanting to um, do a PhD since I did my master's basically a few years ago. So yeah. um, I did German at school and always wanted to improve my German. So it, I you know, kind of wanted to live here. And so it's just two, two in one. Yeah. And we're really near the border um, of Switzerland. So it's a really good place to go to other countries from as well. Do you, right, next question is Inventor20. Do you mostly use cards when you travel or do you take cash as well? Oh, card. Mostly yeah. cards. Actually, that's one thing I would say about Germany. Mm -hmm. I know I moaned about paperwork instead, but um, I Paper wish there was more card machines. Um, what, yeah. it all de like, we would love to only use card because we're like entitled millennials <laughs> but it all depends on the country that you're going to like you have to do a lot of research into it you just have to look the country up and see if they're a card country or a cash country yeah. um yeah like when we went to mexico we got cash out at the airport so you you can use the card still but you get cash like for your time there and it, to compare when we did our norway sweden yeah. denmark trip we didn't ever touch cash we don't even I know what that money looks, looks like, like. <laughs> yeah <laughs> which some people would say is like it not is a, a good sad. experience <laughs> but at the same time it's like i don't have to worry I think it looks especially really cool like as well, so. like if you have one of these new banks like monzo or n26 or starling or something like this that allows you to use it abroad then you can just tap it in whatever country you're in. You don't have to be like, oh, but I withdrew so many Swedish kroner, now I can't spend them. Yeah. Like, that, the that's just so annoying. And then you take them back to the post office and they give you like 2p for them. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like cash, yeah, I mean, but like, depending on the country you go to, you just get forced to use it. Yeah, I do have some coins left from various countries. <laughs> yeah. And the second question was also, would you recommend a trip on the USA trains for a yes. couple of over 50 year olds? Yes. Why not? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. What do we know about well, being we're not 50, over 50, so we can't really comment. Like, you don't but sleep people do that do it. well. There are older people that travel. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Well, you see on my California Zephyr video, I was talking to an older gentleman. They were in the coach seats like us. All I can say is people, people yeah. over 50 or who seem over 50 yeah. do travel. We saw tons of people sleeping weird. in the coach seats, so you um, definitely could do it. Yeah, we met three great people, three great Americans in Cuba. They were sharing our the house we were staying in, basically. And, well, we, we had breakfast all together, and we were there, like, two hours? Yeah, maybe literally, longer. just talking to them. And we had somewhere to be, and like, oh, we we'll go talking. here and here in Havana, and then we'd do that. Yeah, and we were just listening to their amazing stories of where they travelled to. They were big travellers, and I think they were maybe 60, They must maybe. have been... I don't, I don't want to say. I don't know. <laughs> Probably 60. <laughs> I think... I don't want to guess any further I think than they that. Were. And it's such a privileged thing, so a lot of people can't afford to do this until later in life. So we meet loads and loads of people that age. And then you come back home and people might be like, oh, I couldn't do that at my age. And you're like, well, the other day I was speaking to like a group of 60 year olds about their holiday to Iran. Like, yeah, it, it just depends on your circumstances and what you want to So do. yes, we definitely would recommend it. Go for it. Come visit New Zealand for beers and vegan snacks. Um, 
Yes, you my answer to that is yes. I really want send, to go send, to New Zealand. Send location. It's not a question though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a question to me. Did you shoot your entire video on a G7X and how often did your battery die lol? lol. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing that's like happened in the comments of my USA video, like people don't... Not that they don't believe me that it's all shot on a G7X. Did you tell them it was a G7X? Otherwise, how would Yeah, okay. I, I put like an affiliate link in the description. Okay, so I can see it says that. Yeah, oh yeah, we can't show you it because I'm filming the same <laughs> video with it. But like, people don't believe that you can make a video like that. And I'm so happy that like so many people really like the video of such a cheap camera. And to me, this is an expensive camera. Like I got this for uh, 350 quid second hand just before we went to Asia. British pounds. So it's like, it's three years old from me having it and it's been like roughed around in like getting on and off buses and whatever for all those years. Um, and then whoever owned it before that, because I got it on eBay, like whatever they've done to it as well. So I mean, you don't like, it's been, it's been really it, can, good. it can be frustrating seeing YouTubers who seem like they, like they just naturally have like an A7S II and like the money to buy like lenses for it and everything. That can be frustrating. So I, I'm kind of proud to show people like you, you can do it with G7X. And no drains were used. But yeah, I guess I'm proud of that, but it's still an expensive camera. It should be. <laughs> I love your Amtrak video, you inspire me to plan one, thank you. Oh, can I do, do something similar in England? Yes. I mean, yes. There's trains. I guess like the only like long bit. distance one is the one that we did in our Sky video. Do that. That's yeah. what I'd recommend you to do. Like <laughs> Can I do something similar in England? Yes, I recommend to leave England. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to like have good views, then the north yeah. is Scotland. Uh, from you know, London Euston goes nice. to the Fort William, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Inverness, Aberdeen. Yeah, um, and it will take a day. <laughs> yeah, and it's not, amazing. Not yeah, you can definitely do the same. Yeah, um, recommended. Not many That's probably what to. I would recommend. Yeah, fun out of guava juice. What do you guys do for work when you're not travelling? So I'm doing a PhD here. Molly's doing a PhD, yeah. I'm a software developer. People expect some cool answer, like, oh, I, on the beaches yeah. of Thailand I have my laptop and I'm, like, trading crypto or whatever. That would be cool. That's just not how it is. And last one. I can't believe we actually got questions, like I said at the start of this. It's pretty weird. My main anxiety is that, like, <laughs> if nobody was there, listen, thank you all so much. Um, uh, yeah, thank I hope you. that we were interesting enough. It's been quite fun. Um, yeah, it has uh, s.perry1886. What is your connection to Cambridge? This is not directed <laughs> at me. This is not a question. <laughs> I assume that's because of my hoodie. I was wearing my Cambridge hoodie in the USA video, like, all the time. That was my that <laughs> yeah. was my jumper because for the we trip. Don't pack much, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, my Selwyn College hoodie. Um, I went to Cambridge for my undergrad degree at Selwyn College. So Molly yeah, is so that's a my connection. <laughs> super genius alumni, alumnus, alumna. Alumna, maybe. Alumna. And that's all the questions. Yeah. Thank you so much. I actually can't believe we're sat here doing a Q&A. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Like I said, when we moved out here and I was editing the USA video, there, there, was, there was no... YouTube wasn't a thing, it's literally just something that I do for fun. From now on. Thank you so much. There's an audience there a bit. That that does add some pressure. I might not plait my hair in a stupid way <laughs> on camera. People love it. People love that. It's funny because like, I wouldn't go out like that here at all. But yeah, now like people, a million people have seen it. A million people. <laughs> I'm talking Thank about when so I like plaited the whole of my hair to make it all like curly the next day. Yeah. It just looks stupid when it's in plaits. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird. Thank you for, uh, for watching. Oof. Oh my god! They sat on the floor and it's quite achy. Yeah, but it's the best angle in the, the house. Old.